It is Monday, everyone, and that can only mean one thing. We have a bunch of new events in Marvel Strike Force, and this has been a packed Monday. Uh, my day has been busy already before recording this. If you want to know how to smash these events, though, not that there's any character to smash it for this week, but if you want to know how to smash these events free to play, then join me in this video. what is going on everyone i'm bpg and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here i make at least two marvel strike force videos every single week usually based around the events in the game and how to do them the best free to play so if you find this content helpful please do consider giving this video a like subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell because occasionally i do get to add in other videos other than these event guides and the event initial impressions and if you're new around here or not please do smash a comment down below. I do love to speak to you all. So where are we with Wilderness Expedition? Well, on Friday, I said we should be at 194,330, which is milestone 20. Full transparency, I hit milestone 20, but I'm on 191, 330 points. So it is quite possible that I might have missed a free claim here, um, as the free claim has been 3,000. Um, I'm not sure. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the uh, bum for the end of this event, but we'll see. And the events for the Wilderness Expedition this week... <laughs> We have Summer Camp Discovery. This is live as of this recording, so it is already live in-game. It is a seven-day event and is going to finish on the 15th of July at 2 p.m. PDT or 10 p.m. BST if you're like me in the UK. Uh, it's Associated Web Milestone Internal Tensions. This is also already live. You know the score by now, guys. Coordinated Adventure is our Alliance event. I will say that there was no free claim for the Allied Supply 5 Orb Fragments. So you're going to have to take my event math with a pinch of salt on this one. Um, as soon as it is updated, I will update everyone on the community tab. However, this is a five day event, so it's going to finish on the 13th of July at 2 p.m. PDT or 10 p.m. BST. And Superior Camp is the quick rumble this week and you are going to get extra points for blitzing with Superior 6. And we'll start with Coordinated Adventure and as you can see here, this is the table for coordinated adventure it is to earn allied five supply orbs and spend ISO eight energy. And our reasonable free to play total is 174,000 points. That is going to get you down to milestone 15. Now I have done the calculations on this and scoring for this event will not get you any further than milestone 15. Milestone 16 onwards are paid for milestones. And to do this, you are going to have to spend your ISO 8 energy pack, uh, refresh pack daily. You do not have to do this. I would only do this if you are topped out on isotope 8 energy at the moment. Or not topped out, but if you've got 500 of the isotope 8 energy refresh packs, then spend one a day so you're making sure that you're not actually losing anything. And collect your daily free claim. And here's the maths to show you that actually you don't need any refreshes at all. You're going to earn 78,000 points as an alliance if everyone just spends the ISO 8 energy that comes in daily plus the 50 from the web milestone. And this was the last time we had an allied supply five orb fragments for an event like this. We got 800 of them uh, over the five days is 96,000, which gives us that total over on the other slide the main event this week is summer camp discovery it's got a few sasquatch shards in it but nothing really to write home about and in this event we are going to be earning summer camp tickets our reasonable free to play total is going to be seventy-seven thousand five hundred and forty-eight. and to do this total you are going to need to spend 200 cores per day on campaign energy and collect your daily free claim. And that 77,000 gets you down to milestone 14, which will get you the map fragment. It will get you all the lab supplies. Um, 
and an Elite 7 credit, which you can turn into a diamond or 2,500 Elite 7 credits, which is effectively an orb, which you could turn into five diamond credits if you're anything like myself. And for those of you that want to know the math behind this, here we go. We have our 450 core refreshes um, and the summer camp ticket to energy ratio is eight. So if we did that for seven days, that is going to give us 62,048 tickets from the uh, summer camp tickets accumulated from the uh, campaign nodes. The web milestone is going to give us 12,000 points. Now, the web milestone will give us the extra tickets that we need to complete the web milestone at 66,000. And the daily free claim is 500 summer camp tickets. And this is the web milestone. It is called internal tensions. And with what has gone on today, I think there is going to be a lot of internal tensions within the boundless stroke scope Lee stroke MSF team. And in this, we're going to have to spend 66,000 summer camp tickets, as I said. But from this, you're going to get four and a half thousand summer camp discovery milestone points and seven and a half thousand summer camp tickets. Uh, those three and a half thousand plus a three and a half thousand from the web milestone will allow you to complete this one if you spend the 200 cores per day on campaign energy it's also going to give you thirty thousand lab supplies towards the month long event so that is very key and the tldr for this is to spend the sixty six thousand summer camp tickets what are you going to spend it on well if you're an end game player like myself you are going to spend it on these two orbs here. They are cost 7,000 summer camp tickets per piece. Uh, this one, the first one has some blue ISO level five, blue ISO level four, and some standard blue ISO or blue ion orbs in it. Um, and the other orb has gear tier. 17 gear tier 18 and gear tier 19 minis the 19 minis aren't the greatest of odds but at the moment i would take any opportunity to get some gear tier 19 minis so that will probably be the orb that i will be pulling the most if you're slightly earlier in the game then summer camp treat 2 orb at 1500 point uh summer camp tickets and the summer camp treat four orb might be more up your street this contains green ions and blue level one ions in the summer camp treat two and it includes gear tier 14 15 and 16 mini unique in the summer camp treat four orb and we have some extra stuff. Massive thanks to my content creator brother, Boylon, for this. His LD Player updated. Now, LD Player runs off of Android, so the Android store pushed out an update. Um, and between us, we can speculate what has happened. What we think has happened was there was supposed to be two new splash screens uploaded. Uh, this one here of Deadpool. And this one here of Wolverine. This would obviously pay homage to the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine film that is due out at the end of July. So that makes perfect sense. However, what also got pushed at the same time was this. We have a new loading screen. Yes, new characters have been sighted. Odin. Gore the God Butcher, Gladiator, and Infinity War Thanos. And we know this is the case because they are available in the asset bundles. There we have Gladiator, Gore, and Thanos Endgame. So three new characters there. Odin is also a new character. We also have a very interesting asset bundle called Vampire Minions. Does that mean that... Dracula is coming to the game at some point in time. Who knows? Why not let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in this. I, for one, am slightly worried for new characters. Does this mean we're going to have a few reworks? I did do a little bit of digging around on the uh, wikis and all that. And really, the only team I can see that has had certainly Gladiator on, for example, um is the annihilators 
Um, that also had uh, Ronin on it and other teams. Thanos has always been linked to the Black Order, but he was also linked to the Cabal. So could this be a, a new character to go in with the Cabal? Who knows? Or the God Butcher could just be a generic villain to go in with the Cabal. So that could be quite cool. Who knows what this team is? What happens? I'm sure you will find out from your favorite content creators what is happening as we know more. And my final thoughts on this week's events. There is a lot of things that have gone on this week. Leaderboards in the uh, Mapping the Wilderness event. The leaderboard for Scroll Diamonds was completely and utterly shot. Some of you might have seen my Reddit post. Some of you might not. This is with the developers. There is an announcement coming at some point in time with their solution. I do not know what that is, but please do know that that is coming at some point in time. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of problems. It seems like there is a lot happening at Scopely and someone doesn't have control of the reins, I would say. Or was this just planned? You know, was this leak? What was this push from the Android thing planned um, because of what's happening with Captain Britain? Who knows? Why not let me know down in the comments down below? Again, if you found this video helpful, please do consider giving it a like. And until next time, everyone, stay positive.